What's up, peeps? What's going on, funky junk and sparkle chicks? Jackie Green, you are my first watcher. Make sure you mail me your mailing address. I'll send you some happy bling. Hey, Tammy. Hi, Shannon. Hi, Becky. Hey, Ruth. Thank you guys for sparkling out the joy. My nose is itchy in here. I moved my camera down because I felt like you could see what I'm doing better down here. So we'll see how it works. Hey, Laura Lee. Hi, Michelle. Hey, Wilma. Hey, Lisa. Anyway, so I just got asked to do, uh, see what I had. A friend of a friend is having a wedding, outdoor wedding this week, and she needs an ice bucket. I so happen to have one in my stash, and I've got to make her a blinged out wine glass. So we're going to do some wedding decor today. I know it's not wedding, I guess all year it could be wedding season, right? So I figured what better way, I'm not going to make something up here without going live with my chickadees. Hi, Donna. Hi, Isabel. What's up, Marlene? Hi, Shelly and Linda and Dottie. So anyway... Here's the ice bucket that I have. Um, we're gonna do some totally dazzled um, bling wrap, not bling wrap, the appliques. Look at how beautiful and sparkly. Hey Diane, hi Renee, hi everyone. Welcome, welcome to Royal Funky Junk. We're gonna put these beautiful bling brooches on that I got at Walmart a while back. Um, so we're gonna put one of those on each side. Chow from Italy, love it. And then we're gonna wrap some of this around the top. And this is from Hobby Lobby. So I got all kinds of blingy bling bling. What's up, Lavina and Rhonda? Hi, Rhonda, Mom, Mama Rhonda. And and then this is the glass. She just wants a wine glass. And we're gonna put this beautiful. I don't know where my friend got this at, but we're gonna put this beautiful gem on there. Mm -mm -mm. Um, it's gonna be beautiful. So we're gonna do some wedding stuff. So if anybody you know that's having a wedding coming up, um, bring you on here because that's what we're gonna be doing what's up stephanie i cleaned i did a live in my um um my phone's going crazy right now um what was i gonna say oh i did a live in my private group this morning and i was able to clean out clean off my desk a little bit i threw a bunch of old paint away so that kind of felt pretty good and then uh, clean off my desk, vacuumed around in here. Hey, Michelle. Hi, Sandy. Hey, Ashley. Okay, so we got a bunch of us in here. So the bride-to-be who's getting married this weekend um, wants this can to be silver. She actually liked it like this, but it's kind of crappy looking and it needs a facelift. So we're going to paint it like a, a gray with this chalk paint first, which is Parisian Gray by Folk Art. And then we're going to give it um, a metallic look with this Extreme Sheen Sterling Silver from Deco Art. And I was hoping to use my Paint Pixie Sterling that we did that, you know, that pretty picture the other day. And I don't have enough in here to do it. I don't. Yeah, I don't want to risk it. I don't think I have enough. So I'll wait to get more in or I would have used that. Hey, Jeanette, where you been, sister? I'm glad you're here now. The bling ball, everybody's asked about the bling ball. The bling ball is outside in my tree. I left it there from the party. Melinda, it's storming there. It's really nice here today. I've been staying out of the sun, guys. My poison ivy, you know, it's still there. Um, when I get hot, um, it, it comes in full force. It's getting better, still taking the prednisone. But... Um, I didn't even take a shower today because I can't because every time I take a hot shower, hey Kelly, every time I take a hot shower, like my poison ivy just like flares up. So hey Kristen, hey Linda. I don't know if Chris was on. I was on in my private group earlier and then I've just been uh, cleaning my craft room out. I went downstairs, got dressed. And guys, look at, I'm wearing one of my new Funky Junk shirts. It says Sparkle Chicks and Funky Junkers, Royal Funky Junk. I just uh, dropped three new designs with t-shirts and mugs and all that. So you guys can click my link tree and scroll down to where it says Shop Funky Junk. And it's in there. Got some cool stuff in there. Isn't it also Wedding Week Totally Does It? It could be Dahlia. And you know what? I don't know because I kind of had to put a hiatus on my Sundays at uh, Totally Dazzle just because I have my brother's kids a lot on Sundays and it's just been super hard. Um, so, uh, it could be though. I'm not sure. I usually find out like watch replays. I feel like I have hair in my mouth. 
I watch the replays like later and then I find out because during the day guys I sometimes I put it on in the background but it's been cray cray hey K. all right so first thing we're gonna do is she wanted it silver so we are going to paint it a soft gray with this uh, Parisian gray from folk art a shaved ice company oh Jeanette that sounds like fun if it's hot, and I know it's hot, y'all, it's hot here. Well, actually, it's a little bit cooler today. Come on, see, I'm almost out of this paint, too, so I hope I have enough to get this done or I'll be bumming. I'm just going to hold it here above my bowl. Hey, Cindy from Pennsylvania. I know she, I talked to Chris yesterday for a while on the phone. She has been doing a lot of TikToks, lives on TikToks. I, oh boy, I hope I have enough of this great paint. This might be might be in trouble there y'all oh thank you gay oops splatter and paint all over my nice clean desk um uh cindy i got it on my face because my kids sleep my son has it jack has it and uh he was sleeping in my bed and uh pretty sure that's how it happened Oh, that's wonderful, Jeanette. I got the stink bug, guys. Don't even worry about it. Don't comment. I got them. Man. Part of the lights are out in my garland. Oh, for damn, they are. I never even know that. I'm trying to get as much paint out here as I can. This is like the bottom of the jar. I don't really want to... I guess I could stick a brush down in there and pull it out when I can. I'm just trying not to be messy. I want to get as much as I can. This I need to pick up some more gray paint. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to do it silver, but I played around with the spot on it, and I think I'm going to be able to give her what she wants. Because I aim to please, y'all. Okay, I think I got enough. That jar is about hit. Okay. Hey, Rula. Can you mix paint pixie with chalk? I guess you could. Oh my gosh, to three, oh my thigh. See, it takes forever to go away, doesn't it? I know, trust me. I mean, I haven't had this in 10 years, so I honestly forgot like what it was like, but once you get it, it like comes back. Um, if you guys see any uh, stink bugs in here, do me a favor, don't announce it. Just, um, just, uh, screenshot it to me, screenshot it to me, and then I'll get them afterwards. Yes, there's extra large, there's all sizes from small to 2X for my shirts, for Funky Junk shirts, yes, and there's all kinds on there. So guys, I'm only going to do the bucket, I have to do a little bit of this rim in here, because if you look at the, if you look at the lid right on here, you can see that little lip right there, so I have to do a little bit white to black to get gray. I know, I think I have enough though. Um, the lighted garland around my room was made for me by one of my sparkle checks and um, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I don't remember her name. If you're on here, let me know. I'm so bad and I apologize. I just don't, you know, I have a lot to remember. <laughs> I don't remember at all, but it was made for me. And I know she, I don't know if she was taking orders. I did it on a Happy Mail. And uh, and I'm going to hit this with some heat on the bottom. Just so I can put that down. Hello, Laura. Hey, Kate. Yes, I'm live. If you guys see a red live up here, I'm live. I'm just going to dry this really quick so I can put this down on a paper towel. And uh, hopefully not scratch it up until we... Uh, until we are ready to seal it. Hey kid, what's up? Lisa kid is in the house. All right, so I am just painting. This does have, this is metal, so I am using chalk paint. And because it is chalk paint, you're gonna have to seal it. And why do I not have my camera moved down so you guys can see what I'm doing? I don't know. Is the material, is it material or paper? What is material or paper? This is metal. A metal um, ice bucket that I got 
at the Goodwill. This has been in my stash for quite a few, um, probably had this a good year. It's just been sitting over there on the floor. So when my friend called and said, you know, I'm looking for an ice bucket, I was like, I have one. So we'll see. If she doesn't like it, then she doesn't. Guys, what is it with my phone since I got on a live? I always, yeah, I when I watch somebody live, I swipe the comments too. If you guys, you can just swipe it. I don't know if it's to the left or the right. Just swipe the comments away. I do that when I'm watching lives because unfortunately the comments go straight across, um, straight across, um, the picture here and my desk isn't that big I do the best I can I am not a pro professional camera person at all so don't judge hey Linda I'm just trying to make it work for y'all I think we do pretty well though we figure it out we get it going but okay so I'm just trying to get all those little nooks and crannies and down here, I really want to get it because I don't want to see any of that copper. But I don't want it to be puddly either. I did grab a couple different size brushes, so hopefully um, it won't be that. But it might even require two coats of this gray on here first. And it's like a really super light gray. It's actually really pretty. I wasn't too sure about the gold and the silver. Swipe to the right. There you go. Swipe to the right. And I don't want it to be, I don't want it to be puddly. So I'm trying to just keep my brush kind of dry, like especially up here at the lid. But guys, anytime I'm at the Goodwill or salvaging or whatever, I'm always looking for like cool ice buckets. And some people, you know, they'll send me hate mail because I'm painting. It's like a hammered copper. It's silver on the inside, but yes, um, I paint stuff, y'all. And it's just a cool design, and rather than let it sit, you know, somewhere being unloved, I'm going to, I buy it, and then, you know, I give it a new lease on life, and somebody can enjoy this for the rest of their life, and when they look at it, hopefully they will smile and say, that was used at my beautiful wedding, you know? That's just kind of like what I do. So, some people not, may not like the idea that I paint the stuff that I pick up, but guys, it's better than letting it sit there, right? Hey, Robin. Hey, Vicki. Okay, so I'm just trying to get one coat on here really well, and then we'll do, we'll dry it. Probably going to have to do another coat just to get all that copper. I might have to get, I might have to get a smaller brush to get down in here and all these handles because I don't really want to see anything in there. It's kind of tricky, tricky, tricky. It's harder when you got to go around handles because that's when you see like the brush strokes. So sometimes it takes a minute. And see underneath here, look at it from all angles if you're doing anything fancy like this because sometimes it gets a little stubborn trying to get in that in there. And if you see a little bit of it showing through, I don't know. I try not to sweat the small stuff. So anyway, how is everybody's Wednesday so far? You guys all doing good? What's new? What's new? Ooh. Okay, I'm going to get this out of the way. I don't want to put my fingerprints in it and I don't want to go over it. I think I'm going to take the smaller brush though and do around here. I just doing the inside like right around this lip right here because I want that lid to go back there and fit, but it's got to look right too. Um, somebody just asked if I have tattoos. I have a lot of tattoos, y'all. Yes, I do. Oops, I just stuck my finger right there. I have a lot of tattoos. Thank you, Helene, for the stars. Thank you, Vicki. Um, yeah, I'm a tattoo loving girl. And she wants us to hold a couple bottles of wine. I hope that it holds a couple bottles of wine. I don't know. But it will definitely hold one with some ice. That I know for sure. But I just want to get up here in this rim without making it look. I might take like a baby wipe around this inside edge. It is chalk paint, so that will come off. 
Oh, with a little bit of water. Hey, we're in a stars party. Amazing. You guys are like so good to me. Why are y'all so good to me? Anyway, I hope you guys are having a fabulous Wednesday. Can you believe it's already Wednesday? I can't. I feel like my son starts school a week from today. I can't believe it. He had orientation today. Freshman orientation. You always going into uh, high school. And then my older son starts college on the 22nd. I can't believe it. It's craziness. Uh, Jennifer Aniston's doppelgamer. I get that a lot. Yes, I do. Okay. So I think I got the top pretty good. I just want to make sure that when that lid is on, it's all going to be kind of cohesive. Get my little brush up underneath there. We'll let that dry and then we'll go ahead and paint the lid. Uh, Vicki, I am, I am in the States. I am in Ohio. And then I'm just going to go probably right underneath here. I mean, I guess I probably should paint the hole inside and outside. So let's do it. Yeah, probably. Just to make it, because the inside of this is silver. And we're going to seal it anyway with some Duraclear. So anything we paint on here is going gonna, is gonna to stay. And I, I do have enough paint, so let's do it. That way when you open it up, it matches. And I'm not painting the inside of the ice bucket because that would be kind of weird. That probably wouldn't be too smart. I am going to hit this with some heat right now before we start. And I'm going to try to be extra careful with this piece because it is um, a custom piece for somebody. Uh, I am married, Vicki. Yes, I am. Happily married. My husband's hot. I'll tell you. I love my husband. Thank you, Becca, for the stars. Yes, so I've been with my husband six years. We have five kids between the two of us. Um, none together, but that's okay. Um, my second marriage, his second marriage. Have I ever been to the flea market in Hartville? No, but you know what's funny? I was just talking to my mother-in-law yesterday and we're planning on going in a few weeks. Hello, Lucia. Let's get her a star party clip. Yeah, do it, guys. Then I have to sing for you. How funny is that? Even though I get accused of singing anyway. Um, maybe I do sing when I talk. I don't think so, though. Isn't this pretty color? I think it's pretty. Even if you just but I am going to put a metallic sheen over it. My phone. Do you guys hear my phone buzzing? That's my husband now. It's like I told him I'm on a live. He wants me to look up something for motorsports. And I'm like, I can't do it right now, honey. I'm getting ready to go live with my chicks. Then I can go downstairs and I can do all the things. All right. So when you're painting something like this, especially chalk paint, don't keep going over it and over it because it'll start to get a little like janky. Let it dry. Go over it again for that second coat because it's almost like the paint starts to stick. I can't explain it. You'll just know it if you if it happens to you. And you don't want it to do that. So I'm just trying to get into all these little grooves. Yes, it's going to be messy. And I'm probably going to get more paint on my fingers than anything else. But... That's where that metallic, the metallic paint that we're going to put on here is going to really um, come into play because it's going to cover up any paint, like brush strokes that we may have. And unfortunately, see what I'm saying? You don't want to do that. To keep your, your smooth surface, just don't keep painting over it. If you see any imperfections, just let it go, let it dry and hit it with the second coat. Uh, Shelly, he needs me to see if he gave me an invoice for one of the uh, for one of our vendors for motorsports. So I said I can't look it up right now. I got to go on another computer. I have two computers downstairs. One one for all that, and then my computer for funky junk. But he's just gonna have to wait a second. So see, this is chalk paint, so it's real matte. 
I'm going to put this off to the side. I'm going to bring the bucket back and I can see where I need to dry this a little bit more. I don't like when other women sing. You don't like women's singers? Beth sings on her page. If I knew how to sing, y'all, I would sing more. Hey, Nancy, what's up? I am on. Thank you for sparkling. All right, so I just want this real dry before we go over it with the second coat. And chalk paint dries fairly quickly. Yeah, that's dry. Yeah, see, it's still a little see-through-ish. Um, it's still a little see-through-ish. I'm gonna grab this smaller brush though, and I see a little spot right down in here in the handle. Just sometimes you have to get different brushes to get them where you need it to go. I want this to be kind of perfect. You know me, I'm usually not all about the perfectly perfect, but for somebody's wedding and stuff like that, or I'm being trusted to make something, I want it to be as perfect as I can. And actually, I'm gonna take off my thumb ring because I don't want it to scratch the paint before I get it sealed and dried. Okay, so again, I'm gonna do this very bottom, and then I'll dry it with some heat so I could put it back down. Just make sure you don't have any runs or anything like that. Again, I'm not worried about um, I'm not worried about uh, brush marks because, hey, I've got, I see 733, but it doesn't matter if we only had seven in here, I'd still be here. Okay. So see that second coat, see how it's kind of streaky right there? That's what I don't want. I don't want that to see... Um, show through when I put the metallic on. Thank you, Deborah. Okay, so all I'm going to do, now we're going to do, I'm going to do the same way I did before. I'm just going to hold it in my hand and I'm going to paint the second coat. And you can see that's why I took my thumb ring off because I don't want to get that all janky. And this is definitely a hammered piece, a hammered copper piece, but the more we paint it, it kind of almost covers up the texture a little bit. And I'm going to have just enough paint, thank gosh, because that would have been bad. I knew I was going to have enough. I'm like scraping the bottom of my bowl here. So I'm going to get all the way up to here, underneath here, and this is like a real matte finish. It's chalk paint. Um, And then around here, we're just painting. And just make sure you get all up underneath there. It's gonna get harder to get your brush strokes out of up here around the handle because you gotta get in there. But like I said, don't worry, don't fret. I think I did pretty good around this handle on the first coat. What is that? It was like, I don't know what that was. It's like a long, dark hair. It's probably a Rocky hair. Rocky's in here with me today. And then once I get this body of it done, I will go ahead and put it on its bottom and I'll do all around the top. Hey, Big Daddy's in the house. My hubby's in the house. What's up, sugar? He misses me. He can't come near me while I have poison ivy. This is about as close as we can get right now online. That's what it feels like when we're at home. It's like, mm, we're air kissing because he doesn't want it. Um, I did get your text, Mike, but I didn't look at it. So we have a hen we have a rooster in the hen house. Big Daddy's in the house. Make sure you ladies all say hi to Big Daddy. I'm sure he's having a fabulous... Yes, my hubby's here. Hubby's in the house. Okay, so... Do that. 
and then just make sure I got, I think I got it all the way around. I think I did. It's hard to tell sometimes. Remember, just don't keep going over your chalk paint because if you do, that's when it gets like, like muddy almost. You don't want that. What does the tattoo on your look? This one, it says, um, no matter what, and my kids' initials, because I always tell them, I love you no matter what. Yes, you could have used spray paint on that. I could have spray painted this. I just saw somebody say use spray paint. Totally could have spray painted it, but what fun is that? Um, could have spray painted it first. I thought about it, but I didn't have any of the correct spray paint here. Uh, I had like a shiny gold, so... I don't know, I like painting stuff. So, and I can't spray paint in my house either. So, um, so we paint. I kind of like watching the, I kind of like watching the transformation, you know? I kind of like watching how it all comes together. Uh, hi, Dinah, thank you. Hey, Diane Palace is in the house. What's up, sister? I miss you too. We gotta go to lunch, Diane. We need to get together and have a powwow. All right, so I'm just going back under here, underneath this, um, this inside lid. I wanna make sure that gets painted as well as it's gonna. I'm not going for pure perfection on the inside. I just wanna make sure that when the lid is on, it's gonna be pretty. And then who knows, maybe after the wedding, she can use this as like, a flower bucket you know you could put some flowers in here and uh, keep it in your living room oh Christy poison and see I don't know my stepson Tony he's like Kathy that's not poison ivy he's like convinced it's poison sumac or poison oak or something like that whatever it is it's for the birds that's all I gotta say see it looks a little cakey down here but I see you don't want to go over it because then it'll look junky you just got to kind of roll with it. The paint's going to take on a mind of its own. I am going to put that over here and we're going to do a second coat on this. Oh, there's another. Hold on. I got him. Only one man is allowed to call me baby. Sorry, John said Mullick. You're out. Got him. Hopefully that's the one you're talking about. Um, so we are going to do, I'm doing the inside and then, cause that way when they open it, it will be cohesive. And literally y'all, I had just enough paint, literally. It, just enough that chalk paint. I could have made gray, but, um, I was glad I didn't have to. Dang it, what is going on with my phone? Do you guys hear it binging? That's why I have to shut my phone off at night because it just does that all night long. So I'm gonna dry this before I do the top. He's gone too. I can't stand these guys, I swear to God. You come on here and leave something stupid, you're gonna get blocked. Hey Dahlia, go take a nap, sugar. I'll be here on replay. That's the glorious thing of replay. Most of my, my crafters, my favorite crafters that I watch are, I always watch on replay at night, laying in bed, having a glass of vino, with the TV on in the background. Okay. Thank you, Susan. Thank you, Shelly. I, I, I think I got him, but you never know. Okay, so I am just going to do one more quick coat on the top the lid my favorite part is we're gonna bling this bad boy this is gonna be pretty um, this is gonna be pretty um, when we get the bling on there yes they do and here's the thing when you guys have that happen, because I see that a lot, if I miss it, like I'll ban them. 
um, you know, they, they, they copy and paste the same stupid comment to like all the women. They're trolls, guys. Don't fall for that. Nobody, they, they don't want to be your friend. They don't want, yeah, they want your money or something stupid. Um, don't even respond. I try to get them or screenshot it to me so I can ban them from the page. And I, I try to look, you know, if I know that there was some on there or I see like, cause I do look at my comments. I can't see them all. Unfortunately, you know, they're, they're filtered, but I try to, I try to, I try to get them and then, but if I miss them or you have somebody that's bugging you from, that came over here from my page, um, please message me. And I had somebody, a lady write me yesterday and she unfollowed me because she said I had too many, um, too many, uh, trolls on my page and they were writing her. And I'm like, do you think I want them here? I mean, I don't want them here. Get lost. They're making you shut. Oh, uh, uh, Rima, have a great flight. Let me know when you land, sugar. Um, yeah, and I'm thinking to myself, fine, unfollow me, but do you really think that I want all those stink bugs here? No, they're annoying. Go away. But, you know, I can only do what I can do. Have a safe flight, Rima. All right, so I think that's all done. I am going to give this a little bit more heat. I see a couple of wet spots over here. I see a little bronze right there. I mean, it's going to be hard underneath those handles, but I'm going to do my best to cover it all up. Okay, I think we're done with this brush. And you know what? Um, what was rude? Was I rude, Rula? Oh, you're talking about the lady. Yeah, totally rude. Like, like my gosh. Like, do you think that I want them here? Yeah, she was, some people just don't, I don't think they have a clue as to how it all works. Okay, so I think we got this pretty much covered. I think it looks good. So now what I want to do is we are going to, I got to figure. Yeah, so here's the thing, Dinah, and I will tell you this because I learned this from my coach. It is an ice bucket rant, Sandy. Um, um, Facebook, if you have a business page, look how red my face is. It's getting hot up here. Um, I have no makeup on my face because it's just the poison ivy, and that's what it, see how it's getting redder. Anyway, um, if you have a Facebook business page, peeps, Facebook will never ever message you in Messenger and tell you you're out of compliance or you're not following community standards. It won't happen. It will not happen. They will not do it. That is a scam because what it does is they take you to another page. They want you to put in your, your information and your password and all that. It's such a scam then because it looks like Facebook, but it's not. Facebook will email you. It will be from Meta. And then if I even get like spoof emails from Facebook that says I'm out of compliance my page is going to be deleted but if you look up at the top where it's from it'll say like facebook.com slash numbers and some weird IT address that's how you know I mean do your homework guys don't just be quick to oh my god my page is going to get deleted don't fall for it because it's all just trolls you know what I mean don't fall for it okay so now we're going to use this this is called um Thank you, Lori. This is all touchstone. I love my touchstone. I had to wear pink because I got my funky junk shirt on. Um, yeah, so this is the wrap, the ice, a stretch, fabric friendly stretch, and then this is paparazzi. And then these two are uh, touchstone. Touchstone. My girlfriend got me this, and these are touchstone. Hey, Gail, welcome. We got a new sparkle chick in the house. Um, Angela, I usually clean my brushes like they sit here in like these little buckets. And I've just got hot, well, it was hot water. And then I just put like a drop of Dawn dish soap in there. And then I should probably wash them every week, but you guys know me. You always hear me screaming that I have no clean brushes. So yeah, it's kind of like an issue of mine. I need to be more consistent cleaning my brushes. Uh, yes, Lori. So if you click on my link tree right here, it's pinned at the bottom. It's pinned in the comments, or if you go to the top of my Facebook page, 
at Royal Funky Junk. I have my link tree pinned to the top there. Um, and then scroll through my link tree until you uh, see Touchstone Crystal. Click on that. It'll take you to my Touchstone Crystal site. Amazing. It's, all, it's, it's a Swarovski company. So these are all Swarovski crystals, guys. Amazing. Um, you can get the t-shirts on my page by going to my link tree um, and then scroll through my link tree until you get to um, uh, Shop Funky Junk and then click on that. Can you tell what the metal is for jewelry? Debbie, they do have a whole section of sterling silver and um, and then I believe the other ones like this ring and the ice bracelets are just like a rhodium plating. Are Totally Dazzled and Paparazzi owned by the same company? No, Totally Dazzled is for like bling pieces and stuff. Paparazzi is a national corporation for the $5 jewelry. Yes, Maria, the Touchstone stuff. Guys, and if you want to have a party for Touchstone, seriously, you should. Because if, I mean, it's, you get double hostess rewards this month. Can't beat that. I mean, uh, thank you, Maria. The grandbaby's good. I haven't seen her in two weeks because they've been in Florida. So I can't wait for her to come home. Hey, Virginia, thank you. Somebody else has me a question. And Brittany's not on. She's, comes, she's driving home from Florida today. So my admin, Brittany, my daughter-in-law will be back in the next couple of days answering questions. Um, so I'm trying to look at the comments as much as I can. Um, Shannon, I wish your tea. I have a lot of long sleeves on my site, Sharon. Um, carried bangle bracelets. Yes, they do, Dottie. Bye, Mike Dominico. Love you too. My hubby's out. Look how cute. I didn't know he was still on here watching. Drusilla, you are working on an ice bucket too? How cool is that? Awesome. Drusilla, what's your page? Exclusive designs by Drusilla. Somebody screenshot that for me so I can go follow her. You guys go give her a follow. Um, how do we get a catalog? So the catalog, I just sent out 60 catalogs in the mail to the first people who wrote me and I don't have any more left. But you can go to the link tree to the Touchstone site and then click the shop button and you can view the new fall catalog in there, page by page. It's actually, I like it. I like it. And get an iPad or a computer or your phone even and you can click page by page. Uh, let's see, message from my, yes, he's leaving. I saw him. He's leaving. He's got to go. All right. So I've got this. Now this is Deco Art Extreme Sheen in the color Sterling Silver. It's like a metallic paint. It's Mike's way to see me up close right now. Yeah, because like literally he went to kiss me goodbye this morning. He was just like, I don't know where to go. So anyhow, it was too funny. Yeah, he's, I'm, he's avoiding me like the plague. All right, so now I'm going to do the same thing, same process as before. Um, this is the metallic. Ooh, guys, look at how pretty that is. See? So this is a sterling silver metallic. Now the metallic paints, you're gonna be more prone to see um, brush strokes. So I'm gonna try to put this on pretty evenly and just be pretty, you know, treat it pretty good. Give it like a once over so I don't see those. Oh, actually it's not too bad. So same thing, dry this at the bottom. Hey Serenity, welcome. Hey Amy Garber, what's going on sister? So I just want to dry this before I put it back down, but look at the difference. Do you see that? Look at how pretty that is. Ooh la la. Um, Rhonda, I think so. Are you talking about the Hocus Pocus book? I bought all the materials to make one, so that's going to be a fast play. Okay, so that should be good. So now I think I'm going to do it the same way I did before. And don't want to scratch my chalk paint before I get it all done. All right, so now I'm just going to do the same thing, kind of work in sections, but all the way around. And this is that metallic silver. And I think it's only going to take one coat of this. Yes, I love metallic paint. You guys know I love, like, I'm obsessed with metallic paint. And you can definitely see where it doesn't, where it's not on there. I almost feel like I want to dry it in sections. 
just because, again, this is, a, you know, a gift for somebody for their wedding. I really want it to be pretty. But see how pretty that looks? Ooh, la la. It's almost like a pearl. Hey, Danielle. Amy, I've inspired you to start a new product. Well, I'd love to hear that. What are you working on there? Did you move yet? Are you out of Michigan yet? So I think I'm just gonna work in sections here and go right up to those handles. I don't want, I kinda wanna keep my flow going like that. The Silver Paint Victoria is, um, give me one second, I'll hold it up for you. It's by Deco Art one of our proud sponsors of our Sparkle Rich Crafting Retreat in October in Oklahoma. Deco Art is our one of our amazing sponsors. Okay, so see how I'm just kind of going around, getting in between those handles, and you can see in the light where you need to paint if you missed a spot, and I'm just kind of going over it in one, just because I don't want any weird markings. See the difference? That is so pretty. You're in South Carolina now? Yay, I'm gonna have to. You should, that would be so much fun. All right, so I'm gonna go right up to that handle. Make sure you get all the way around the lid. Almost gives it like, now see up here is where I'm gonna, you kinda wanna make sure you get all around there. But it's hard to get your brush in there. So even if you have to like go down from behind it, just get there. I'll do those handles last, I'm thinking. I really wanna get the body of it done right now. Hey, gotta go. Hi, Kathy. I didn't even know you were in here. What's up, sister? You go do your thing. Oh, y'all, there's a hair. Crap. You're not sure if there's another one? Oh, yeah, definitely. Nobody wants your WhatsApp number there. Sorry, sister. You're blocked. Are these people? Oh yeah, write it down, guys. Get on it. They all want it. Um, I could try leaving the handles a different color, but I already got like a lot of paint on them, so I don't think I want to do that because I I was kind of there's bits of that all over. I'm gonna go and give it a coat of the paint just because, oh. My, my brush is losing bristles. Not good. Okay, so I'm trying to, did I get all the way around the body of it? That's what I want more than anything. And then I can do the outside of these handles without really getting wonky looking brush strokes everywhere. That's why I kind of did it around it first. Then I could come in. I might have to text Jack and tell him to crank up the air. Or I might just have to run down there and crank it up, y'all, because I could feel my face getting like super, super, you see how red it is? Whew. <sighs> I'm too funny. Gosh, guys, sometimes I don't think I'm that funny. All right, so I think I got the outside handles done. Um, hanging with you guys, like I can be weird with you guys because I feel like I know you all. I think that's a hair. It is, gosh dang nabbit. How are these? It's the brush hairs. Okay. So I think that looks really good. Look at how pretty that looks. It is so pretty. I, okay, I didn't think I was gonna like silver. 
I know I'm super red. It looks very wedding-ish. Um, I wasn't thinking that I was going to like it silver, but I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of digging it. So now I'm going to do up here. And I, I'm, I have it on my hand only because I can see it in the light. And that's, it's when you're using that metal like effects paint, you can see it way better in the light where you got to paint rather than when it's sitting directly in front of me. So that's why I have it on my hand like this, guys. And I know it may not be the greatest for you, but. Um, and it's got those little fluted things in there. I want to make sure that all those are covered. All the way around. Okay. So you see in the light you could really see where you need to to do more. So now I'm just going to do like right around that edge up here. And then I'm going to get down here on the inside of these handles to the best I can. Like I said, guys, you know, it's, it's a little tricky and I would, but for the most part, I got it. But I don't want to scratch anything either. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to go turn the air on, y'all. I can't take it. It's like my face is on fire. Okay. All right, now I do want to take that skinny, I need a skinny brush, and I'm going to go around that inside edge. Isn't this gorgeous? I mean, heck guys, I even impressed myself. So now I'm just going to go inside here with just this little brush, and I'm going to be extra careful in here because I want it to have that same sheen. And I want to make sure it gets in all those little grooves that are on this back side. It's super hard to see though because of the light. I think. And then I'll go in and I'll finish it. So I'm kind of going with the with the curve of those, whatever you call this design in here. Because I want it to get in all those little edges. I gotta call my son. He's gotta go turn the air down. Turn the air down to 68. I'm dying up here, please. Okay. If he's sleeping, then I might have to go down there and do it myself. I think I have it, like it's set at 71, but it gets so hot up here, I can't. And I even have my fan on. I'm gonna make sure I get that all. I think I have a little bit more to do. Hey, Charlene. Hey, Tammy. I know, that's what I'm saying. Free, I need a freestanding one because my, um, I don't wanna to touch that just yet because our windows are like crank windows and uh, we can't really fit like a window air conditioner in here. I don't care. I'm on the live. Can you please go do it for me? I'm burning up. Jeez. He's the one that gave it to me. You think he'd have some empathy, right? His was on his body. Mine's on my face for Lord's sake. Isn't that amazing? I tell my kids all the time, next time you ask me for something, I'm going to say no. Because boy, when I ask for something, it's like, no, I'm not upstairs. Pain in my hole. Okay. <laughs> he is going to get a butt whooping. Then wear a blanket. I am sweating and my face is all red. Go crank it to 68. Why am I arguing with my 12, 14 year old? 
volume control. I know I need to get something. I got the other one. Hang on. I got the one that says I don't even know what he's trying to say, but he's blocked. Um, he's doing it. Yeah, do you see? Like, guys, I can see it, and I can see it getting itchy. And I thought, what would Kathy do? It's healing, but when I get hot, holy cronoly, like, my face gets, like, I don't have makeup on my face right now, but my face gets super red, and it, like, I could feel it starting to spread. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, right? You know, I know. That's what, you know what I always say? Like, they must feel really safe with me for them to just be so... Darn, you know, cray cray. All right, so now I do want to take a baby wipe or an alcohol. I don't have any alcohol wipes left, but I'm going to take a baby wipe and I'm just going to try to, um, before I seal this, I would just want to go around this inside lip, like right here. Um, I just want to take off that paint thinking maybe I should wait until I seal it. Yeah, I'll wait. I don't want to screw anything up. Okay, so I think we got everything pretty much done on this. So I'm going to set that off to the side and I'm going to let that dry. Make sure I got all up underneath the sh lid. Okay, I think it looks good. All right, so now we're gonna do the lid. See, I don't want my fingerprints on there. I wanna seal that. As soon as we're done with this metallic, we're gonna seal it with some DuraClear. Uh, yes, Dolores, I did about 10 years ago, and it's the same thing. I, I'm like deathly allergic to it. So when I get it, I get I have to get a shot and all that stuff. So it's like, and I already had a shot of cortisone, but yeah. It don't like me and I don't like it. So I have to be really. So I'm on prednisone. I'm on, I had to get a shot of cortisone. Um, and unfortunately like this room where I'm at, it's like, I don't know. It like gets the least amount of airflow. Although somebody did send me something, one of my chicks sent me, and I think I'm gonna order it. It's on Amazon. Maybe you guys have heard of it. Tell me if you use it. It's like a smart vent cover. So I have like a vent underneath my desk here that blows out the cold air. Um, and it's like a smart register vent. So when you, you turn it on, it like, I don't, there's something in it that, makes it blow out even harder, I guess. Um, and I just remembered it now talking to you guys. So I'm going to have to go on there and see if I can find it and get, get one. Okay. So now we're doing the top here with the metallic silver. See, I'm so glad I listened to my friend. I really wasn't like thinking this was going to be pretty in silver, but you know, I was like, what's she in silver for? You know, got to give my two cents. A small vent didn't work for me. You tried the smart vent, Shelly? It didn't work? Well, bummer. It looks like a good concept. And then I had, but I know it's just like, I think like when my husband built this house, you know, for the size of it, cause it's fairly large. Um, I'm thinking he probably should have had like, you know, two furnaces, two units. Like it might, like Jack says, it's freezing down in his room. He's in the lower level, like the basement area. The main floor is where our bedroom's at. But then up here, like it's like an extra 10 degrees. Now we have discovered that if we leave the big fan on, in our living room, which we have pretty tall ceilings in our living room, that it does help kind of with the heat a little bit up here, but still, I think it's just, you know, 
And in this, and in the, and in the winter time when I'm up here, I freeze and I have my heat, my little heater going. True story. I know I gotta do something. I need like a one of those stand up air conditioning units because I can't really put one in my window. I need like the stand up ones. All right, so I don't really want to touch this just yet. I think that looks really good. Plus, I'm using the heat gun, so that doesn't help either. So this is silver paint. This is called Extreme Sheen. The color is sterling silver. It's a liquid metallic from Deco Art, and I got it at Hobby Lobby. So it's, it's Extreme Sheen, and it's not a pearl paint. It just says Extreme Sheen Metallic Paint, so it's a metallic paint. He doesn't even have a vent in his room. We added his room on after we moved in here. So can you get the, I tried, my son had the Arctic air, it didn't work. To cold air, yeah, exactly. He says, redirect your damper. We did that, we had the guy come out, we did that, and it's still, it's open. It's just, okay, I have the Tech New Glorious. It's, it's glorious, it's amazing. I use that every day, uh, a couple times a day, I wash my face with that. Oh, attic fan. That's because you know my attic is like right over here next to my room. That's true. And my closet door that there's a door that goes into the closet is open. You just need to vent the stand up ones out the window then board up on that. I know. Yeah. And see, one of my sparkle chicks made me I have to use it because my face is so hot. Made me a little fan. Um, a stand-up AC, but don't you have to have that out the window? Don't, I mean, I would just want, like, like you know, like you have those little heaters that blow out heat. That's kind of like what I want, um, but one that blows out cold air. Um, is that your hair in the messy bun or is it the, no, it's the messy bun piece. Oh. <sighs> And my husband doesn't want to put any money. We want to move. So, um, Laura, I don't want to diamond dust it because um, it, people are going to be handling it. It's going to be ice, so I would suggest no. So, look at how pretty. Okay, so guys, before I go any further, um, I'm going to um, get a nice new brush. And I am going to seal this with some Duraclear just because I don't want anything to happen to it. And I want it to stay nice. And uh, I am on a, a prednisone, I do take Claritin. Just the vent needs out the window. Oh, Dyson makes a stand-up one? Hmm, I'll have to look into that. Okay, a cooling fan, I'll have to try. All right, so what I'm gonna do before I put all the jewels on here, guys, because I want to um, seal this paint. Yeah, I don't know if we'd build a home, but you know, we want we want property. So, a stand-up fan. Yeah, I just like want like a stand-up air conditioner. I don't want one that goes out the window. I don't wanna have to do all that work. I just want one I could turn on, kind of like heater. Okay, I'm just washing my hands because I don't want to get all crappy. I'm, you know, I'm being extra careful with this piece. Whew, man. Okay, so now we're gonna seal this. I'm just using some DuraClear. Attic fans make a big, I'm gonna talk to Mike about that. Hi, Beverly. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna stay in the same area. Yeah, I could get one on sale right now. All right, so let me do the bottom just to see. I'm just using DuraClear. I just want to see, I wanna make sure it's not going to affect the color of our piece. So let me do the bottom really quick. Let me hit it with some air. Does that change it? It kinda of makes it a little shiny. I don't know. I don't want it to lose its pearl look. 
I know, I have my, exactly, Rony, I got my fan on right now, and it's hard when I'm using, you know, diamond dusting because it's drying my Mod Podge and all that stuff. I want to make sure that that Duraclear is not going to affect our sheen, is it? I don't know. I kind of feel like it might. What do you think? Does it still look good on the bottom? I think so. Let's keep going. I don't know. Okay, let's just do a little bit down here. I'm kind of nervous. I don't want it to lose that really pretty pearl sheen, but I do want to protect our paint, especially if it's going to be used to hold wine and all that stuff at a wedding. I think it looks good. I think it's working. So same as before, I'm just doing like a thin coat. I don't want anything puddly. I'm trying to be uber careful. And I'm trying not to go over the same spots twice because again, just like the paint, Duraclear, you know, can be a little chicky chicky. And I don't want it to be yucky looking. I think it looks good though. I think it looks the same too. I know I'm going to have to put a, a cold rag in my face. And it's so... It so sucks because it's like, you know, it's like, it's a gorgeous day. I want to go sit out by my pool. I want to sit outside on my patio furniture. I love sitting outside, having my morning coffee, looking at my computer. Couldn't do any of that the last week. It's been kind of crappy. I think I got all the way around here. Did I not? I think I did. Okay, I think I did the whole thing. I'm just making sure I don't have any gloopy parts this dry put that down I see a hair coming off and then I'm gonna do I'll do the oh crap hey look at that it didn't even affect it huh that was a miracle y'all okay yeah it looks really good Okay, so now I'm going to do the same thing. I just want to do around that top like I did before. Cindy, you're in Kent? Her son, uh, his friend goes there. A couple of them. He might actually, he's talking about transferring there. Maybe in a couple years, but. Oh, now see, that's getting a little bit gloopy right there. So that's what I'm saying, guys. Be careful because it's definitely, um, you know, uh, Duraclear is a little bit runnier, so you gotta be careful when you're using it. You don't wanna, you don't want it to be puddly or goopy. Especially around that handle, that's where it seems to wanna, because I was sticking my brush weight on in there. Yeah, okay, I got it there too. I think I got it everywhere. So now I can flip that back up and then I can just kind of go right around this top edge over here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I like my, you know, I like my wine outside in the evening and I don't know. All right, so now I'm gonna take, um, I guess I can take this smaller brush and I'm gonna do, thank you, Jeannie. Um, I am going to take just a little bit of Duraclear and just go right around like we did before. We're going to seal everything. So I'm just going to take that small brush and just kind of seal that inside so that paint never chips off on the inside either. And then that way it's all the same. We don't have to worry about it coming off. I'm just 
get my brush, a little bit of DuraClear. And then the fun begins. Then we can start decorating and putting on our bling pieces. Okay, so I'm gonna use my small brush too, um, just to, to DuraClear the handles, like so. rather than that big brush. That way this will, will be more apt to get in everywhere. Like so. Bandana next, yes. Hey, Cindy. Elizabeth, it's good. It's a little flared up right now because it's hot up here and, um, and I even avoided like taking a hot shower today. You know, maybe I'll go jump in the swimming pool. I wonder if that would be good. I know people said chlorine, but I have tried to avoid the sun. But the swimming pool might actually feel really good. Okay, so I got the outside of the handles done, so now I'm gonna take my little brush and do the inside. Just do the best I can. Just don't want it dripping so just make sure you don't have any drips or runs because those would show up and be kind of tacky looking you know what i mean hey terry cole we have a new sparkle chick in the house welcome is this your first time here we have a great group of women in here that love to help me paint stuff and decorate and we laugh and we chat we chat if you don't like chatting and talking then you know you ain't gonna like it here. We chat a lot. Um, I do have a ceiling fan in here. Okay. I think we're good in that. Yeah, the pool, I bet you the pool does offer great relief. Maybe I'll have to go jump in the pool. All right, so now we're going to put some DuraClear on the lid of the ice bucket. This is the easy part right here. But I am gonna try to dry it a little bit. Hey, Melinda, happy Wednesday to you. Yeah, but you know what? Uh, chlorine and sun does dry it up, um, but the chlorine does, but man, it's the sun and the heat. I think I'll probably do it um, after like the sun goes down or like when it's not the sun isn't so brutal, you know? All right, so I'm going right around the top of this lid with the DuraClear to seal all that in, right around the handle, and then I'm probably gonna do the same, well, I think I'm just gonna get in here with my big brush and just do this big handle while I'm with this, with just a coat of dirt clear. I'm only putting one coat of dirt clear on. Yep, and that is going to be gorgeous. Hey, Cheryl. Hi, Linda. Okay, so now, guys, that's the hard part. All we have to do is let this dry now. So I am just going to let this sit here, um, and I'm going to just make sure all of this gets dry before we start laying the glitz and all the totally dazzled stuff on it i don't want it to scratch and get all janky dirt clear dries pretty fast but it's still a little tacky i don't want to touch it until it feels really good it is dirt clear, Sandra. Yes, I am putting some bling on it, Elizabeth. It's for a wedding, so of course it's going to get some blingy bling bling. And we're going to have to use some E6000, so that's going to be a little tricky tricky. Do you know how much I love my 
It's a love-hate relationship with E6000, you know? Okay. So I'm just going to sit here and let this spin. And then I'll probably go over it with my hand fan because that metal gets hot and I want it to be cool. Uh, Rosette, it's for a wedding and she wants to put, um, she wants to put a, a glass, of, a bottle of wine in here or two or whatever, but um, it's for a wedding this week and it's for a friend of a friend. Um, so I'm just hitting it with some cool air. Yeah, because it's still pretty hot. That's a metal bucket, so when I put the heat on it, it was really warming it up. And I don't want it tacky while we're working with it. I don't want to leave fingerprints on it. Yeah, see, it's still a little tacky. Just in certain spots. Just fan my face for a minute. Um, I think I have some B8000 glue. Might try that. I have B7000. See, I have a little bit left, so maybe we'll do that. Um, that's a great idea, Michelle. Why didn't I think of that? I'm going to work on the wine glass because that can sit over there and dry. So for this, we have a wine glass from the Dollar Tree. Um... Let's see about this. I kind of want to make like a little pillow for it. Do I have a blank? I don't have a blank. Oh, I have this. I'll use this. So when I'm making wine glasses, I kind of like to make like a little bed for it. Oh, we have a bug. I don't see it. It is an ice bucket, Grace. Hi, Rosetta. Mm. Yeah, exactly. I already know some of the face. Put ice in your bra. That's so funny. Um, I don't see one. I am not froze. Jeanette, I live a little over an hour. Well, no kidding. Salt water. Yeah, I wish I was near a beach on that, though. Oh, God. He doesn't even know how to spell. He's blocked. What's wrong with people? Um, uh, no, it's not, the, it, it's not the heat gun. I think it's just because... Um, it's because, um, I got them. It's because I have poison ivy on my face. So here's the, I like to make like a little bed so the thing doesn't roll. Mansion is glorious. I just, just text me or uh, I can't see him, but I just blocked one. I'll find him. Somebody screenshot it to me and then send it to me and then uh, I'll get him afterwards. He got the BBD indeed. Okay, so we have that and I know she wants to use this big brooch right here. So. This is gorgeous, okay? You just kind of got to eyeball it and where you want it to be. So I know I want that dangle. I don't want it way up here. You got to have room to put your mouth on it to drink, right? So um, you kind of want it. I got him, Glorious. Yeah. Um, that's my mother called me. So you kind of want to look at it from the back, and you're going to have to see where this gem where the gem is going to hit. So I know it's hitting like on the high points right in the middle, depending on where I put it, right? So you just kind of have to eyeball it, figure out where you want it. And it's a little tricky guys, but I'm going to say right there in the middle, not even maybe a little bit at the top, but it's all in the middle. So these high points, like, here, 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 
and then maybe a little bit, yep, and then those ones right here. And you want that to be dangling. Isn't that going to be so pretty, though? It's going to be hard for me to show you this, guys, but there's another one. Oh, boy. Oh, God. You don't care. You Got them. Ugh. Just, just ignore them. I've got them. I got that one. They'll drink from the other side. True, but, you know, I, I kind of want that dangle. I don't want it up high because then it doesn't really dangle. So I kind of want it right there in the center. So I'm going to try to find the center. Now, this is what I have found doing these. Get your fingerprints off the front where you're going to put it. You're going to use E6000. And um, I'm just going to, and then you're going to want to grab some painter's tape, okay? This is going to help a lot. Thank you, Lori, for the stars. Um, get a piece of painter's tape ready. Get your E6000, which I have a new tube right here because the other one stinks. I'm going to grab a paper towel because... I should have brought my, oh, I have my readers on. Oh, thank the Lord, guys. I actually did something right today. Look at that. I'm going to be able to see. Okay. Yes, Jackie, I had like some, I had some stink bugs on here. They're just, you know, they like the attention. That's why I don't give it to them. That's why I just see it and they, you know. Okay, much better now I can see. So I know it's going to go there going to go on there even if it just and then down at the bottom like right in the middle I think and then check the other side too yep right where I thought maybe even no I don't want to I don't want to do those sides I just want to do the main thing okay so you got your little you know your little bed or whatever you're doing Oh, you need blingy wine glasses. Now, you don't want to put glue on these little dangly things, okay? Grab your E6000. Um, that glass is cleaned. And I'm just going to do, I mean, you don't need a ton, guys. Just put a dollop. This is going to dry crystal clear. There. There. I think a little bit down here. Sam? Okay, and I'm going to flip it over, and this is where it gets tricky. You're going to have to stand up, find a place, and then just kind of like stick it on, okay? I think that looks pretty good. You've got some glue right there. The glue is going to dry totally clear. Now, to keep that on there, grab your painter's tape. So you don't want this to move and it looks good. There is glue touching um, let's see. Yeah, so it's got glue touching. I don't want it to move. So you're just gonna lay that painter's tape across your gem. And that is going to hold it, okay? That is gonna hold it. Um, that is going to hold it down while that E6000, I have done many of these and sometimes like, you know, you're doing it and then you put it off to the side and next thing you know, the glue just starts to like slide and then your piece is going bang, and then you got glue all over your glass. So I use the painter's tape um, to hold it on there um, and then you can kind of fiddle with it after because you want it to be straight. And then I just, for a big one like this, I can do that. And then I can pick it up and move it without having to worry about it sliding around. And there we have it. Easy peasy momeasy. Right? Now, I'm not going to be able to show you the guys that today when it's done because that's going to, um, I am going to let that sit there for 24 hours for that um, E6000 to really dry up. Oh my gosh, I have bling on all my wine glasses. Are you kidding? I'm like obsessed with it. It's like, 
Amazing. What time is it? Is my phone done? Oh, it is 4.48. Holy crowley. Um, My son's home from work. I have poison ivy, so that is why I look the way I do. Um, yes, but you can do like, so guys, like all this gems and stuff from Totally Dazzled and stuff, um, seriously, just glue them on wine glasses. I do all the time, but you want to make sure you use E6000 and you definitely, uh, you don't want to, um, you don't want to um, put them in the dishwasher and you don't want to soak them in water because it will loosen up that glue. Um, what you want to do is just hand wash it, dry it out, you know, dry it really good and just don't let it get real wet. I use, I have a ton of them. Hey, Dana. Oh, it's, it's still there. Um, it's a little warm up here right now. So you can see this is the worst one I have right there. And then over here, this is getting better. I swear to God, it looks better in the morning by the time, um, yeah, I can't, I, I can't, uh, I can't, uh, can't wear makeup. I got eye makeup on, I got lipstick on, nothing else. All right, so guys, let's move along back to our wine bucket. Yes, poison ivy, poison something. I don't even know what it is. It sucks is what it does. Hey, Sharon. Okay, so we have this. Thank you guys for all the sparkling. We got a bunch of people in here. Hi, Jeannie. Jen Jeannie, thank you. Thank you, Lori, for the stars. So we got this bucket. We got it all painted. Look at how beautiful, okay? I'm gonna take that ring off too because I don't want to. I don't want to scratch any of this paint. See that Duraclear worked. Feels good. It looks good all the way around. Look at how pretty that looks. Nice and silvery. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the church window. I think I'm gonna make it an earring holder. I don't know though. Um, so here's my thought. I have. I have this bling from Totally Dazzled. Okay. You guys can see that up close it's all rhinestones it's gorgeous there you go can you see that look at how pretty that looks it's like all clear rhinestones it's got some 3m tape on the back um i am going to use this i'm gonna, probably going to have to cut it so you're going to have to you're going to have a front and the back so as you can see i can go all the way around this i actually probably don't need this anymore um I'm just going to have to measure this and and what I'm going to do is I'm going to look and see. So it gets a little tricky, but I think it's going to be right here. So I'm going to cut this like almost in a V formation, um, like right here. You're going to lose maybe a little bit of stones. Hang on, guys, I can't see good loose flat. Crap, where was I cutting it? Right there, I think. Is that where I was cutting it? So I'm going to wrap this on the bottom. If that, see how this has a point right here? So what I want to do is match this up as close as I can. So that's why I'm going to cut it at an angle. Yeah, they have them. They're called the appliques. Uh, Cindy, I don't know. That's it's a friend of a friend, so I have nothing to do with why there's only one. Um, I hate when Brittany's not here. I need Brittany back. Okay. Um, was it Robert? Because I just blocked him. Because who cares about, why does he care about my nails? He's weird. Um, yeah, so, anyway. I'm cutting it, like, in an angle so I could use that piece right there. And then I'm going to blend it. You know, it's going to be... I think I have to go the other way, though. Hold on. Hold it that way. Yes. Yeah, so I'm just trying to get it like where it's going to almost like mesh together perfectly, kind of like right here-ish. I got them. Okay, so, and you're going to lose a couple of beads, but I'm going to give it like an almost like, I'm going to go around like this side of it. 
See how I did that? I kind of made it like a, a dovetail just because I want that to kind of fit. So when I lay it over a little bit, it'll kind of be like one big thing. I got other stuff for the handles. I'm not going to do anything on there. So see how we have that. Let me make sure I made it long enough. Yeah, I think that's going to be just right. I mean, so all I'm going to do, it says 3M tape on the back, but I am also going to use some E6000. The trim is from... Um, totally dazzled. It's an applique and I'm just doing a little bit of E6000. That's going to ensure that it's on there forever and ever. Even though that e, that 3M tape is pretty good, this is going to make sure that it sticks like, you know, forever and ever. It's just like a backup. All right, so I'm just going to flip this over and I'm going to bring this around here. Actually, I'm just going to start this way and go around to the back. So I know what I'm doing. Big Daddy's in the house. Um, the key? Uh, it's in Carly's Michael Kors bag in her room. Okay, has this dog been out at all? Not in the last couple hours since I've been up here. Okay, so now I'm just kind of like squeezing it together. Make it hold. And let that E6000, and I'm pressing it all, okay? Yeah, okay. We're good. Now see, I just dropped a stone. So that's where you got to be careful. I might just take some of that. Um, and you're just pressing in that 3M tape and somebody had the right idea, flip it upside down. So I'm going to flip that like that. It's the yellow one? Uh, the storage key? Yes, that's the yellow one. I'm just trying to clean off the glue on my hands. I don't really want to get my fingerprints all over our paint. So as you can see, I lost a little stone there. So I'm just going to take, where did I put that gem glue? Here it is. Where'd it go? I know I had it earlier today in my private group. I had some gem glue. I guess I could use some B7000. I got Sunil, yeah. Um, totally dazzled. This is the, these are appliques. They come in, I mean, I'll show you some. They have so many beautiful ones. They have like this one. That's like, like a more of a black. And then one of my favorite ones, but they've got like, look at this bad boy. I mean, they have some beautiful, beautiful appliques. Comes in gold, rose gold, silver. Um, so, I just want to make sure that this is all, and I just put like E6000 around the top, around the bottom, and then that 3M tape is going to hold, but then that E6000, when that dries, that's going to take over, and as you can see, like right back here, see that's where I cut it, see that's why I cut it that way, and yes, I kind of like missed a stone here, now we might be able to like, What I was thinking is you take your piece, where's my little thing, did I already put it back? I did. You take your little piece and you could pull off one of those stones and just glue it back on there um, to where you, you know, kind of like when I cut it, it kind of came off. Hey, Glenda, what's up, sister? So I'm just going to put some B7000. It's a little, and I'm just going to drop that stone like right in there. 
and then I can see like a little string right there. Just touch it up, touch it up. All that will dry. And then if you feel like you have like a loose thread, just throw a little bit of glue. This glue will dry clear. And that's going to ensure that that, you know, sits there. I need to do another one up here. So I need one more. So you can like just pick off stones off of here. And like I said, I'm being a little bit more particular because this is for somebody's wedding. This is not for me. And I want it to be as perfect as it can be for her. Oops, grab another one. I know I need some tweezers. Um, no, this is not henna on my hand. That's an actual real tattoo. It was henna and I liked it so much that I went and got a real tattoo. And then I'm gonna take some of that B7000 right underneath the tip there and I am going to load a bunch right there. And I'm gonna take my little tool and I'm gonna make sure that it's all like together. So it all flows. Just hold that down. Because you don't want any of those stones falling out and that would be weird and it would be, yeah, that would be a bad thing. Now I might even just add, do I need one more right there? See, I don't, I don't think so. Maybe. Maybe one more right in the corner. So I just keep tweaking it until I get it the way I like it, until I feel like it's good. Right there. And this B7000, if you guys can find B7000 glue, it's like a sister glue to E6000, but oh my word, it dries faster, dries clear, but it dries faster. I'm gonna do one more right in the middle and I'm gonna show you. It was silver already on the inside. I did not paint the inside because they're gonna use this for ice or maybe put flowers in after their wedding. So I didn't wanna get, um, Of course, my gem goes upside down. There we go. Oops. There we go. Oh, perfection. That just filled in all that blank right where I cut it. I'll show you. Wait a minute, there's my little tool. Just want to twist that a little bit to make it more front facing. Get it right there. There we go. See, you can't really tell right there is where I seam those two together. So that's why I just kind of cut it like at that arrow form because I wanted it. And then if I see how there's like a little gap right here, I, I could grab, I could take some of this B6000. Oh my gosh, more? Oh boy. Oh my word. What is wrong with people? Uh, Carol and I already sprayed, I already put on um, Duraclear onto it. So it's, it's secure, but see how like, there's like a little like gap right in here. I, I mean, I don't think I need to add glue down in there because I already did E6000 around. Um, yeah, that's exactly what they love responding to that. I don't know if I could get glue down there enough or if it's actually even necessary. Let me see. Cause I did put the E6000 all around. I mean, I guess I could squirt some more down in there. And just kind of move it all around. 
you were thinking the same thing to go ahead and add that down in there just to press that just so it's flush or should I just leave it as is I don't want to overthink this too much And see, that's going to take forever. I might do that later. I don't want to waste your guys' time sitting here and shoving E6000 down there because that's going to be a hot minute. But, I mean, you guys get the drift. Look at how stinking pretty that is, right? Um, Mary Lou, can you see my weddings? They're kind of dirty right now, but that's my wedding ring. Just a, It's a two-carat center with just a wrap around it. Um... Yeah, I think it's fine. It's got enough glue. It's not going. I just have to determine whether or not do I want to take that little gapage right there and press that into the side. But I don't. I don't it's one way or another. I mean, I don't think it really matters. Um, okay, let's move along to the next, y'all, because we got more to finish. Um, I might as well just leave these on. So I know that this is the back. keeps turning and I want that to stay right front and center. Hey little turd and bird. He wants to come out. There we go. Okay. Let me get some heat. Yeah, you just gotta ignore them. You could put a mad face on there and then I can go back and find it, but um, that's why it's so much easier when Brittany's here and I know she's on vacation, so it's hard when you're on a live trying to handle it, but Brittany gets them like straight away. So it's, it's awesome. Um, okay. So, okay. On to the next. So I know this is going to be the back. I, I guess it really doesn't matter. Uh, for, it's the back for me. They may not have it at the front. Um, now I want to take, I think I'm going to do these last. These are going to be tricky. I'm going to have to use hot glue and a little bit of E6000 uh, to get these on. And I'm probably going to be only able to do one with you guys today because this needs to, uh, you know, kind of like that wine glass. I can't have, I can't do both sides at once, but I am going to put the same gem on both sides of this um, ice bucket. But because, you know, I need this to sit for a hot minute. Um, you know, I want to make sure that, uh, my God, isn't this going to look stunning? Seriously, look at, that's going to go in the center right there. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so let's do this one. And I am going to find the center. This is where it's hard. It's always hard. Um, just try to find that center mark. I don't want it too far up. I don't want it down below. I want it to where you're going to be able to see it. So I think I'm going to have it like right about there. Okay. And then you just got to look to see again what parts touch. So it's all that middle part right there. A little bit at the top. All in the middle. So I'm going to hit it with E6000 and then some, some hot glue, probably up at the top, just to get it to hold. And even if some of this hot glue light or E6000 piddles through, you're going to have, this hot glue should just be enough to hold it. Just giving it like a dab of hot glue just for temporary hold right now. And then I want to put that right. I always get so nervous doing this part. Can't give me the glass. I can take them on and off, on and off, on and off. Okay, so. So you want that to lay flat so that E6000 will like kind of like sink down in the middle. 
and I can see it touching the bucket, so that's all I worry about. And then that hot glue up at the tops and the bottoms right here is just gonna keep that on there temporarily. And I don't wanna put tape on this right now because it might peel up, you know. More. This is for a friend of a friend. Yeah, Brittany is the best exterminator, trust me. Um, but I'm only gonna be able to, um, oh, I got that guy. Um, I'm only gonna be able to do one side at a time because I don't wanna keep this upright because I don't want the like the glue to go down this way until it geals. So maybe in an hour I'll be able to put the other one on. But I can show you guys real quick. Mm, hope it's centered. See, that's the only thing is I think it's a little off to the right. So I think I have to fix it. So I think I just want to a little bit more over here. See, I'm being probably a little particular, but that's okay, because I'd rather be particular than not particular. So, crap, I just got it. See, this is what happens, y'all. I should just learn my lesson, put it back on the way it is, and I'm getting a little, you know, crazy with it. And see that hot glue, it doesn't really work, y'all you could just peel it right up but then you're peeling your paint up so that's gonna have to go right back on the same spot because but then I am gonna jam blast it with a bunch more E6000 right here All I really worried about is that it's straight up and down. Everything else, I think that's good. All right, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm just trying to pull off all the glue boogers. I think it looks beautiful. Look at how beautiful that is. See, that's gonna be one hell of a nice bucket. I don't wanna tape it. A rubber band would be good because if I don't know if I don't want to peel up my paint geez what if I do that and it peels up all the paint that would suck see how the paper towel still sticking to the paint a little bit I don't even like see I'm being really really you know I don't like that big glue blob right there so that's going it had like dry glue and then more dry glue so I'm gonna put a new glue blob there there we go see I would not spend this much time worrying about placement if this piece was for me but I'm trying to make it like really pretty all right so that's on there the hot glue is gonna hold it and I can see where all that E6000 is in the middle, and that's all I'm worried about. Now I just want that E6000 to like gel and really hold that on there. I could use a ribbon, but look at how stunning that is, y'all. Okay, so I'm gonna just kind of like, that cannot slide. That's why I use the, uh, that is why I use the uh, hot glue gun. I need like a blanket up here. Okay, so that's just gonna sit there. I don't want it to go all rolling all around. What if I could go put it on my blanket with the other one? Okay, so now, last but not least, we have the um, the lid, and all I'm gonna do with the lid, you guessed it, and then I have the same exact gem to go on the other side. Okay, and you guys know me. I usually don't usually don't do this get this nitpicky but when it's it's another reason why I don't really do a whole lot of custom orders because I get like really over you know crazy with it so I want to go right around this inside lid lid right here and all I'm gonna do is just float this around I'm gonna use hot glue at first 
right here. Just to stick that first piece down right there. And then I'm gonna use some E6000. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna do the other side until later. So then I'm just gonna move this out of the way. I'm gonna get some E6000 and I'm gonna lay it right along this ridge right here. And then I'm just gonna lay this beading down like so, right into that E6000. You're gonna get lots of glue strings and glue boogers, which I hate them all. Okay, and then I'm just gonna twist it. And then just for that right now, I'm just gonna hit it again with like another thing of hot glue. And lay that down. That's gonna give it that permanent, like that hold right now until that E6000 kicks in. Cause you can tell like all these are moving where that E6000 is, but where the hot glue is, hot glue won't be te is temporary. Hot glue doesn't have the stamina that E6000 does. So see, I'm just kind of laying that right on top of that E6000. And then I'm gonna do a little bead of hot glue. So see how pretty that lid's gonna be with just that little bling around it? And then I'm gonna go ahead and do some more E6000. And we're almost done, guys. I know I've been on here for a while. I didn't think it was gonna take this all long, y'all. Okay, right there. Lay that down. And then I'm gonna do Hot glue right there. Okay, so now I know where I can cut it. So I'm going to cut it. Now I can see where I have to cut it. I'm just going to use probably a pair of scissors. These crystals came from Hobby Lobby. This is you get something you get by the yard. So I know I'm going to cut it right there after that third one and all I'm going to do is use my scissors and just try to get right in between there. And then I'm going to use some E6000 right there and then I'm going to finish it with a little dab of hot glue right there. And they matched up perfectly. See that? You guys see that? Oh, it just lays on there. Now, I, sh I could probably show you all of it together just so we can get like a bird's eye view before I lay it back down. Wow! Okay. So, that's good. All kinds of glue boogers, you'll get those. You can see those later, just get a brush and brush them off. But now hopefully, hopefully that will still go in there. It's a little tight because we painted it. So if it scratches some paint off the, you know, this part, I mean, it was painted, so, but for the most part, I might even be able to sand that down a little bit. It's catching right there. I might have to bend that out just a little bit. I think that's where it's catching at. Looks like somebody had the uh, thing bent. 
much better, okay? <gasps> Look how pretty that is. I'd add single stones on handles and top of handles. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could, but you're gonna be using it a lot. You don't want those things to come off. Um, I think I'm just gonna leave it like it is. That's kind of like the way she requested it. Um, silver and bling. I think it's gorgeous. Now on the other side, it's gonna have another gem on the other side uh, that's exactly like that, but I'm gonna let that dry first. And then we got a little bit of bling at the top. Um, I think it's smashing. Um, uh, the transfer flowers Angie came from, um, transfer flowers, transfer flowers, transfer flowers in the watering can. Oh, uh, vintage retail therapy. You can find that in my link tree too. Thank you, Anne. I love it too. I think she's, I think she's going to be really happy. Uh, candy, that bling is not, it's not totally dazzled. Um, this is from Walmart, y'all. It's like three bucks. Walmart. They get all kinds. Look at how gorgeous up close. Diana's still here. Um, it's metallic gray. It's metallic sterling silver from Deco Art Hobby Lobby. Um, phew, I just got a strong whiff of E6000. So again, the reason I'm laying that down is that E6000 before it's secure it's gonna I don't want it dripping down so I'm gonna let it lay flat um and then I'll flip it around and I'll do the other side um and Diana that was uh metallic paint from sterling silver metallic over just the light gray chalk paint from um folk art and that's it y'all and look at how pretty look at that finish remember what it looked like it was copper before y'all and then we sealed it we sealed it with uh a uh, Dura Clear, and it's amazing. Pat myself on the back, and then tomorrow I'll do a picture of this and the wine glass later when I know they're dry and they're gonna be okay. I don't want to pick them up right now. I want these to sit here and cure. Um, add some bling at the top under the lip. I don't know if I was thinking about that earlier, but I think it looks good the way it is. Oh, I see a glue booger. Yeah, I mean, I see that, but I don't know. I don't have any more bling. All I have is this little piece. And then I didn't, I think that's too much. I mean, I could do a skinny rope, but I don't have a skinny rope. And you don't have to seal. I sealed it, Candy. I did seal it. I sealed it with DuraClear just because, just because this isn't for me. And because I wanted it to, you know, I really wanted to make sure it was good for somebody's wedding. I did not use slick stick first, this is metal. All I did was paint it with the gray chalk paint, two coats, and then added the metallic, and it came out super beautiful. I know it looks kind of clear in here, but it's definitely silver, and I think she's gonna be happy. So I think it's perfectly evenly spaced. If I put any more bling on there, I think it's gonna get a little bit, you know, it's gonna be like, I don't know, I think it's gonna be too much. I mean, it's pretty, but I don't have any more. So um, if I had a little silver, a little string, I would do it. But this is it. It is what it is. I think she's going to love it. And me just bending out that little bend right there worked perfectly. It slides right in now. Um, so it looks good. All right, y'all. I'm going to lay this down. I'm going to let it do its thing in here so it doesn't get all gross. And, and dries and I'm so glad that we like hung out today that was like a long live what time did I go live y'all um Marcy they're using it for um they're using it for uh an ice bucket for a bottle of wine what time did I go live uh 3 30 oh been out here for two hours I didn't think it was gonna take me that long to do that well you you guys hung in there thank you so much um, anyway, I will, you guys have a great evening. I'm actually going to go pour a glass of wine and do some laundry, um, and, and go lay in front of the air conditioner. Um, if you guys have any questions, you know how to get a hold of me, just message me, email, uh, all the stuff is in my link tree. Um, just have fun, stay creative and stay sparkly. See you guys later. Bye.